Hello, welcome to this session. So in this session, we are going to talk about our creating artificial neural network using a fashion mindness data set. So in this tutorial, we are going to use Jupyter Notebook and then uh, I am going to use fashion mindness data set. So from start to end, we are going to do a complete course to how to create a neural network by using data set. But in this tutorial, we are not going to talk about the theoretical part about the neural network. In case if you want to learn the theoretical part, please go and watch my previous video there I could explain in detail with the architecture how the neural network is uh, doing progress in the while well, doing learning. I mean also in doing what is back propagation, what is forward one, um, what is weight. So everything I have discussed in detail in that video. Please go and watch it. I think um, now we can get started. Uh, with this data set to create a neural network Okay, as I said earlier in case if you want to lo learn more about the um, basics about the neural network Please go and watch my videos uh, in this um, channel. So here I have a, uh, I clearly explained the concept of neural network. There will be two parts which is available. So part 1 and part 2 Please go and watch it and then in case if you have if you don't have any knowledge in the neural network, please uh, learn from this video okay now we are going to explore the power of um, artificial neural network with the help of data set uh, fashion many set um, actually it says in the data set is contain uh, images with the pixel of 28 or 28 in case if you want to more you want to know more about the special many sector please go to the link uh, which I described uh, that uh, description please uh, go and the link and that is learn more about that uh, data set okay the first the first the basic uh, one is we have to install the tensorflow uh, 2.0 so here i have uh, added the syntax like uh, pip install tensorflow gpu now it's for successfully installed and the next we need to import uh, libraries which we need uh, for first i will install numpy okay and then i will install uh, import uh, Time. Daytime. Then I have added that import the TensorFlow and then I will uh, add that import data sets from Keras. That is data set is nothing but fashion mini set. So I am going to execute this query. It's got executed. Okay. Now if we see here, I am going to execute this one and then it's got executed. So now we have imported a library called the uh, uh, numpy and then a tensorflow and then uh, we imported that data set from keras data set name is a fashion many set okay so these are the library which we need this is the introduction uh, for this uh, library uh, so this is the uh, i mean uh, default one that we need to run this uh, neural network okay the next part is a uh, data pre-processing so data pre-processing is not an um, exciting part but uh, in order to create a model in artificial network uh, we have to do some data processing it's an indeed one let's get it let's do that one so here if you see i have an uh, statement like i have a x train y train and then x test y test so i'm going to load this special menu uh, load data set into this uh, uh, x train and the x test uh, variable let's say just execute this uh, command okay the next one is uh, we have to do the normalize the data sets so when we are working with a uh, neural network it's indeed it's always need to normalize that data set because okay, so that's what we are going to do here so we are going to uh, divide by using 255 to normalize all the uh, images in this data set uh, so for that we need to execute this one I have executed the act training one and the texting also I got executed. Now, if you see that images got, get, yeah, I mean, got normalized. Uh, this is uh, I, we need to do when we when we want to create a model in neural network. So another advantage of uh, when doing normalization is if you do the normalization if your data sets that the, the training um, and the learning of neural network would be much faster if the data sets got normalized. So that is the, that is the reason that we are doing a normalization before training a data set uh, one more thing here, here i have added the we checked the shape of this extend data if you see here this is a 2d uh, 
uh, type of data. If we have, we have 60,000 uh, images with two dimensional. If it's the size is 28 and 28. Now the next one is we need to go to reshape the data set. The reason that we are doing the reshape is now we are going to do an artificial neural network. So since we are going to deal with an image, it has to convert into a single vector. Okay. Yeah, mostly in two dimensional, we'll, we have to work with convolutional neural network. But um, next session, I will explain you how to do the same uh, data set in convolutional neural network. But here, when we are going, going to do in artificial neural network, we have to work with only a single vector. So for that, we have to convert this um, data set into single uh, vector. For that, uh, I use the uh, reshape by using this data by using uh, here I have mentioned all elements. The element is minus one, and the height number is twenty twenty. So for that, I am going to execute this one. Okay. Um, before, if you see here, the shape is like um, 60, 60, 60, 000 and then twenty eight twenty eight. This is two dimensional. So when after we reshape this one, now if we see here, um, the shape is in a single vector. So again, we have to convert this testing also to single. Okay, now we have converted both x10 and uh, x test in a single vector dimension. So now we are ready to uh, create a model. Next, we are going to define a keras model. So for that, I have import like a model tf.keras from the um, keras API. We are importing the model. So here we have used a sequential. The reason is we are going to create a dense layer in a sequential way. So that is the reason we have imported the sequential model from the keras. Okay, next one is we are going to add the first layer um, in that uh, neural network. So for that, I have added a unit is 128, which is nothing but a neuron in neural network. But in TensorFlow, we call it as a unit. And then next, I am going to add the activation function, nothing but some reload. And then here, the input shape is uh, sound 84. So this is the input shape for that um, question minus data set. The reason we are using um, ReLU activation is we are going to deal with a data set make to is non linear and it's compared to the output. So, in order to make a non linear this data sets, we have to use this activation ReLU. This is the common activation uh, used in a uh, artificial neural network. So, if you want to learn more about the theoretical part, so I strongly recommend that please go through my previous video there. I could explain um, in detail about this kind of what is activation, what is the uh, first layer, and then uh, how to define the model. Everything is I explained theoretically in that uh, video so okay so in this video uh, now we have um, added first layer next we go to the second layer okay okay second layer is nothing but a uh, dropout layer uh, dropout layer is mainly used for to minimize that uh, overfitting in that uh, model so in order, in order to reduce the overfitting we have to add some dropout layer the dropout layer is nothing but uh, we have to uh, remove some of the neurons from the uh, dense layer so that is the reason uh, we have to add this layer so I will execute this all this uh, code. Uh, let us see. Okay, I have executed. So it's it's getting executed. Okay, it's got completed. And then I am going to add one more layer called second layer. Here I am going to uh, mention the unit is ten. The activation is softmax. The reason I have mentioned the unit ten is nothing but it's number of classes. In the data set. So normally in the fashion many data set we have ten classes, ten different types of classes like shoes um, pants so th there are different uh, you just go through the data set um, to, i mean uh, description there you can see there are dif different uh, 10 different types of classes this as output so that is the reason i am mentioning here the unit is 10 this is the second layer so normally if you see here we have added three layer one is first layer and then next layer is dropout layer and then third one is second layer this is how we have to create a neural network model Okay, so next one is we are going to compile the model. I hope um, this is something which is very interesting. So again, we are adding one more method from this um, Keras library. It's called compile, and then we are going to add another uh, parameters called optimizer. Uh, this is mainly used uh, for activation uh, function. It's the default uh, one which is used uh, in the option optimizer. It's called Adam, and then next one is loss so this is which is going to determine the uh, weight and loss between the output so if the output is not that much accuracy then again it will add some more weight so this 
cross categorical cross entropy will have which will do the, those kind of jobs so it will adjust the weight and that is the reason we are adding this parameter and then final one is a matrix so in order to evaluate the model by using this uh, parameter we are going to evaluate this uh, uh, model okay finally okay finally we have created the model now we will see the summary of this model what we have created so far i hope um, i will uh, compile this summary okay if you see here we have three layer one is the first layer second layer is a dropout and then third layer is an uh, i think uh, soft max let us see i think second layer is just not executed i believe okay compile then finally summary okay now if you see here now we uh, first layer is a dense layer and second one is a dropout and then i have added two dropout here and then uh, final one is a dense okay now if you see here the total parameter we have like this one trainable parameter this is for the summary of this model now the next one we are going to training we are going to give the training for this model okay let's see the next one okay we are going to give the training with the one single line of code here i am going to use model dot fit this is training and then this is a white train data here i put epoch as five this is going to five iteration you will be using the five different kind of uh, data set i am going to execute this one okay it's, it's getting execute okay okay first one we got an accuracy like uh, 79 next one is 83 which is good and the third one is 85 i think good good okay and final last one we got like uh, okay we got like 86 percent of accuracy next we are going to evaluate this uh, model uh, i mean the trained model let us see the next one okay next one is i am going to evaluate this model for that i have a text loss and test accuracy and then by using x test y test we are going to evaluate the trained model okay let us run this code okay it's not bad then the final accuracy we can print now we got like 86 percent of an accuracy as a test accuracy not bad so in order to change that layer or uh, adding one more layer or adding uh, one more dropout or removing the dropout so you can play around this um, in the model so in by doing so they can improve the way of accuracy of this model maybe if you add some more layer the more accuracy will might increase uh, if you remove some and drop out the accuracy will again um, improve so this is how we have to play around with this model by adding layer and removing the layer uh, in order to um, improve the accuracy these are the steps that we need to do in artificial neural network okay the final one is we are going to save that uh, trained model there are two ways we can save one is in json format another one is an h5 extension so for that uh, you have to do this uh, uh, kind of code to say now if you see here i have created a file called best model in json so i am writing all this data into this this just format and then another one is uh, we are going to save this weight the question model okay so in order uh, by executing this code uh, we could be able to save this model and then we can reuse it whenever we need to predict by using a new data set i hope uh, this session would be very helpful i hope you can understand uh, how to create a model and the neural network uh, how to add a layer different kind of layer what is activation what is uh, um, loss everything I, I i hope it's very clear now please um, um, do your uh, homework job like you can add more layer after you can remove some layer from the model so by doing so that uh, model accuracy will improve further maybe you can um, do some kind of an, uh, homework solution and then just to put it, add into the comment session we can discuss more further about adding removing this kind of layer uh, also in next session i will uh, explain in more detail come up with some new data set i'll explain uh, the same thing we can do it in a convolutional neural network thank you guys thank thank you for all your support see you in next video see you there bye